folks, it's Mike here and welcome back to my Deep Programming Language series. Today I'm going to go ahead and change things up a little bit and we're going to talk about some resources for learning the Deep Programming Language. So if you're watching this playlist from start to finish, you're at episode 130 or something like that. We've done a lot of learning here, but there are other great places where you can learn the Deep Programming Language. So I want to talk about the D books here. So first and foremost, let's just go to the Deep Programming Language website here and resources and under books here, we've got a bunch of different books here. Now I'm going to talk about the ones that I've read here and go ahead and show you. But again, over time, this list might get updated as there are more books written here. So with that said, I'm going to pop button back on the screen here. And again, I'm going to show you the books that I think you should read in sort of this order if you're just starting your D journey. So with that said, the very first book that I recommend is Programming in D by Ali uh, Trelli here. Uh, this is a really excellent book. You can see I've got my copy. There's a little bit of a story behind this book, and I wonder if you've watched some ID programming language videos, maybe you know about this story. So you can post in the comments below if you know how I attained this book. But anyways, this is a really nice book, and I'd say if you're just learning how to program, for instance, this can serve that purpose. But if you've also been doing some programming in other languages, this is a great introduction to the D programming language. It'll take you from start to finish of most of the features that are in the D programming language, and it's relatively up to date as well. And what I'll also say about the book here, if I jump back on the screen here, is this particular book here, Programming in D, um, is available online. So you can do a search for it, Programming in D, or look for it on the book's uh, webpage here. You can see the online book link. I'm just going to show you from a Google search here. Uh, and you can see all the contents here. It's also written in Turkish as well. So if you're a Turkish uh, speaker, then you can go ahead and read in your native language here. Um, but anyways, you can see the list of table of contents. And when I was learning the D programming language, in fact, sometimes I still hop in here and like to click on some of the different uh, references and then just do a control F for like opening a file or something like that. And you can find a nice reference. So this explains and has lots of nice examples. It's got exercises too, and different things that you can try out to again, challenge yourself and learn the D programming language. So again, I really, really like this book by Ali. Uh, programming in D and highly, highly recommend it for whatever level you're at in D, but it's a great book to start your D programming language journey with here. So I've got this one. Now, the second book that I'm going to talk about is then this learning D book here. This book here is by Mike Parker. It's again, an excellent book. Uh, again, you can find on Pack Publishing. So I have my hard copy here. And what I really like about this book is it goes through and talks a lot about uh, the whys of the features. I'm going to talk about another book that has a sort of whys, but uh, I think this is an excellent book. And maybe you would start with this one if you have a bunch of programming experience um, and don't sort of need, um, you know, it, this is a little bit of a smaller book here if you're pressed for time here uh, in terms of page count. But um, this book talks a lot about if you're coming from, say, other languages like Java or C++, why something is the way it is designed in D and how you might transfer some of that programming knowledge that you have. Uh, and throughout the book, you go and implement a few uh, projects, uh, something called Movie Man, which is a really fun project, sort of a database for movies. So there's a pragmatic project in here, which is often a question I get from learners. Uh, you know, you folks on how to learn some programming languages, you know, what are some good projects to try out and so on. This book has a nice project in it. And again, it's written in a really nice conversational style. And again, explains the why, or if you're used to seeing something in some other language, why it's done the way it is in D or maybe how it's similar, etc. So anyways, really nicely written book here. Uh, and there is a GitHub repository of uh, code that you can always dig through as well. So again, this is another book that I like to reference alongside uh, Ali. So I always tell my students, uh, for instance, to, uh, you know, take a look at this one online and then buy a hard copy if you like the hard copy because that's worth it. And then also grab a copy of uh, Learning D here. So these are the two that I recommend and sort of in that order. Um, and then after that, there's three more books that I have uh, hard copies of. I've got D Web Development here, which goes through the uh, Vibe uh, web framework, uh, which is part of D, which is really an awesome framework uh, in the D programming language. And again, you might have stumbled upon this. Again, if you go on the D programming language website here, uh, on the D language tour, uh, which we haven't taken a look at, but there is a bunch of you know written tutorials here. And Vibe is a uh, evolving framework in the D ecosystem. So again, you might have to check some of the ecosystem out. But uh, again, when I was first learning the D programming language, this was a nice book to go ahead and build some web applications. Um, and again, I would use this as sort of a reference alongside of 
um, the current uh, version of Vibe wherever it's at here. So anyways, this is a nice book. It's not uh, super long, but it'll get you through most of the stuff if you wanna do web uh, development and sort of do modern web development. Again, D is actually an excellent, in my opinion, language for doing web dev uh, with some other frameworks available. Um, you know, you might have to do some more work uh, up front, let's say, but there are web frameworks and Vibe is probably the largest one, at least that I know of at this time here. I mean, it's got its own book here. So yeah, nice little book here and you'll learn a lot about web development. Uh, now the next book that I'm gonna recommend, so let me go back to the uh, books page here for us. Let's go ahead and take a look at that here. And I'm gonna scroll down. This one was written in 2014. This is the D cookbook by Adam uh, Rupi. So let's go ahead and uh, get that on the screen here. Uh, the decoup book is a really nice one. Uh, you can see with my uh, green screen, it's actually looking blue, but these are uh, should show up as green here. But anyways, there it is. <laughs> um, but what this is really cool, um, this has a lot of pragmatic uh, examples, I will say. And again, a lot of different ways to exercise the deep programming language. Um, there's all sorts of stuff like on generating data, doing things with bare metal programming. Um, you know, running D on Raspberry Pis, doing database stuff, doing multi-threads. There's all sorts of recipes. This is actually a really nice book here to, again, see how to use the language. So, um, you know, Adam's contributed a lot uh, to the D community with uh, many of his ARSD, uh, if I get that right, libraries. Uh, so you can definitely check that out. And he also wrote this book here um, that, again, really does give quick answers to common problems as it reads here. Um, but, you know, some of the really cool stuff here, uh, just looking through the uh, table of contents here uh, for a moment that I like. I mean, it goes through things like the standard library, uh, but there's correctness checking. There's a bunch of stuff on reflection, resource management, interfacing with C and C++ programs. Um, there's more stuff on multitasking. So this is a really nice book. Uh, I wouldn't start with this book if you were brand new to the D programming language, right? It is a D cookbook, so there is... Uh, I mean, it goes through the hello world and how to get started and some of these things, again, explaining how they're set up and why they're set up. Uh, but this is an excellent book, probably after you do, um, you know, either Ali's book or, uh, you know, Mike Parker's book here uh, that I showed earlier, uh, the Learning D book to, to go through after. And, and again, it has a lot of interesting project ideas, but again, it shows, you know, some really nice applications of the deep programming language. Again, it shows why, you know, the deep programming language is so fun to program in. So uh, the learning uh, or the D cookbook is a nice one as a second uh, book, second or third book, uh, let's say, as you're learning D. Now, the final book that I have with me, the final uh, physical copy, uh, which is, um, you know, one of the uh, older ones here, I'm going to go ahead and scroll uh up a little bit is in fact the d programming language so you can see where it was published but it is still a great uh read so it's written in 2010 um and this really explains you know from andre alexandrescu who's an excellent writer if you've read some of his c plus plus works as well uh the whys of a lot of the features so why was something the way it was in d so i'd recommend that folks kind of read this um i mean for a lot of folks i think this will be the first book that they read in d and that's fine um and it's still worth buying a copy. I think there's, um, you know, there's obviously been updates to the D programming language with how it handles things like post splits and, you know, it has copy constructors now and these types of things. But uh, this is still an excellent for the foundations of the language. And again, answers a lot of the why was something designed the way it was in D. What problem were they trying to solve? And that helps kind of make the knowledge more concrete. So in that way, I really like this book. I mean, Andre is a fantastic writer, a uh, fantastic programmer that you can learn a lot from. So uh, the D programming language really is a nice uh, textbook. I would love if there is some sort of, you know, second edition to this uh, text here uh, with the updates to the language since 2010 or so. Uh, but this book itself was, even though it was written in 2010, it was written in mind of where the language was going. So for some of the features that we now have. So in that way, it's sort of future proofed itself, which is again, uh, smart by the author here. Uh, but I'd highly recommend this book as well, the D programming language. Uh, again, just an excellent book. Um, and these, uh, all these books here, let's go ahead and lift them up just to give you one more review here. Um, I have read basically cover to cover. So, um, you know, I've been waiting for a while to make this video until I actually read all of the books. And again, the ordering, uh, this was the last one that I ended up finishing um, from cover to cover. I had skimmed through and read many of the chapters, which you can find some of the chapters online in various articles um, that I think informed the book as Andre was uh, doing this, um, you know, on uh, various website 
like there are maybe on Dr. Dobbs and so on. There were some some of the articles that I think ended up being becoming chapters in this book. Um, but anyways, um, you know, this was the last one I read. So um, again, if you have some programming experience, if you're coming from a C++ background, let's say, I mean, you could dive into this and it would be a great introduction as well. But uh, for me, I found that this was nice to kind of read as the last one, understand all the, the whys of the language um, after having, you know, some, some years of programming experience with the deep programming language. So anyways, folks, there you have it. Those are some of the D programming language books. I think there's been some other ones here um, and even another one on building web uh, apps. So I haven't uh, read these particular ones here. Um, and I think there are other courses. There's other YouTubers out there too doing uh, D content and plenty of stuff that you can uh, read from. There's actually a really cool uh, a templates tutorial too. Uh, which is a free PDF. So again, that might be something that you put on your uh, radar and to check out some of these other uh, books here. The only one that's probably out of date is the Learn to Tango with D. Again, that was written in 2008. Um, and this one's in the German language, so I haven't taken a look at it. Um, but anyways, hopefully that gives you a little bit of a curriculum. Again, probably starting off with maybe Ali's or Mike Parker's book. And then if you're interested in web development or the deep programming language, again, there's most of these books actually could probably be your first book, but that's sort of I read them in and can recommend. Um, and especially since the programming in D has a free online version, that might be a great place for uh, many of you to start if you're just getting introduced to the D programming language. So anyways, with that said, if you otherwise prefer uh, learning, or I would say my video series here on courses.mshaw.io, let's refresh that, get away from YouTube. Um, this would be another resource that you're watching right now if you wanna see these videos in order to hopefully supplement your D learning. So anyways, folks, with that said, hopefully you're enjoying this video series as always. Thanks for your time and attention. And yeah, let me know what cool things you're working on in the D programming language. If you've read some of those books, uh, if you have other resources that you know of that might be useful for the community. So anyways, folks, with that said, thanks again for your time and attention, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.